Hey guys, Luke from LukeDemarco.com here. Welcome to another video. Today I wanted to share with you guys my top 10 free applications for Mac OS X available for download right now. All the links to all the applications and programs we talk about today can be found in the sidebar. And as we talk about them and I mention them, it's not necessarily in order, but it's just the best top 10 apps that I've found for Mac OS X since I've been using it. So let's hop right into it. The first application I want to talk about today is a program called Handbrake, and you, it can be found right here down here in my dock. Handbrake, uh, the icon is a pineapple and a martini, let me just open it up here, is an application that will take any video file on my computer or DVD in my super drive and convert it to MP4 format for my iPod, iPhone, or iTV. So for instance, right here I have Season 1, Disc 1 of Burn Notice. All I have to do is take Season 1, Disc 1 of Burn Notice, put it in my super drive, and convert it into iPod format. I then just have to convert, uh, export it into iTunes and then sync my iPod, and boom, I can watch Burn Notice on my iPod, which is always great when I'm watching Burn Notice on my iPod. So it's a really neat application, available for free download, the full version, no demo, no trial, full, and it's an awesome program. Uh, I would definitely pay for it if it cost money, but it's awesome because it's free. So check that out in the sidebar there. The next application I want to talk about today is an application called Cam Twist. And Cam Twist is this program right down here in my dock with the icon of a film strip and a camera. Cam Twist 2.0 just came out. Cam Twist is an application that will take feed from my uh, eyesight or any uh, other video camera that's connected to my Mac and put live effects onto it. So if I wanted to make a compound eye effect, embed an IRC chat, uh, or anything else like that, if I wanted to add live effects into my video feed when I was doing a live stream or something like that, all I'd have to do was use Cam Twist to make that happen. For instance, Chris Perillo's live video feed is made and manufactured with Cam Twist, which is an awesome, awesome program. Link in the sidebar, free download. I highly recommend you check Cam Twist out. The next application I want to talk about today is Colloquy. Colloquy is an IRC client, and if you don't know what IRC is, IRC stands for Internet Relay Chat, and it's what's used to chat with uh, chat rooms on Ustream.tv or uh, WildRide.org, which is an IRC network, or my particular IRC network, which is run by Local Coast, who can be found at localcoast.net if you want a chat room. Just check them out. So when you open up Colloquy, you see this is the window here. Dylan552 in my chat room just said hi. Uh, I currently have 26 members in my chat room. Uh, all of these people are in my chat right now. You streamers and people and other people. So it's really great. Colloquy is an excellent free IRC client for Mac. Um, people can say hey and hi and you can talk to them. So you don't actually have to be at the stream. You don't actually have to be running uh, a internet based chat you can just use colloquy awesome program free download link in the sidebar yes I want to quit next application I want to talk about today is the best game you will ever find for Mac OS 10 it's a game similar it is it's basically Tetris for Mac it's called Quinn the application is right down here um, it's gotten me out of many 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 boring lectures during school, let me tell you that. Quinn is a, a neat little application. All you have to hit, do is hit play, and it starts up, and it is. It's Tetris for Mac, and you have to move the bricks, and uh, as soon as you get a row, blah, 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 it uh, clears. It's a really fun and awesome application, and uh, free download, link in the sidebar. I wish I could keep playing it right now and continue doing this video and just talking about Quinn, but unfortunately, we have other applications to talk about. The next app I want to talk about is actually the application I'm using to record this video right now. It's an application called ScreenFlow and it's right down here in my dock. ScreenFlow allows me to capture my desktop as well as my iSight camera while I'm recording a video. So it's really neat if you want to do tutorials or you want to do anything else where you need to record per se yourself and your desktop. So for instance, uh, I'm down in this corner right now. If I want to move myself over here, I can do that. If I want to go up, I can do that. This way, I can do that. And down back to that corner again. It's really, really, really fun. It's an awesome application for screen flow, or I guess it's your screen is flowing and video effects. I highly recommend you check it out. And uh, the icon is right up here. So I can stop record or quit screen flow. I don't want to do that. 
The next application I want to talk about is Quicksilver. Quicksilver is this application down here, which I run 24-7. I never, I never turn Quicksilver off uh, because it's a, it's a great application. Quicksilver is pretty much like Spotlight on steroids. So let me just open up Quicksilver here. QS, as it says on my screen. And as of now, Quicksilver is running. So Quicksilver is right here. All I have to do is search. I can search my hard drive for anything. So say I wanted to search it for a program called uh, Photo Booth. It searches for iPhoto, and then it searches for any other program with PH in it, because that's what I typed in. So I've got iPhoto, Photo Booth, Photoshop, uh, Adobe Stock Photos, Speech Preferences, Spotlight, Grapher, and other things like this. So um, what I was trying to open was Photo Booth. So it really, really, really works well, and I highly recommend this application for anyone who uses a Mac and uh, wants to get to their programs faster. In most cases, I don't even use my dock. Uh, my dock's usually hidden, but for this video, I thought I'd keep it unhidden and show you guys as we went along. So we're going to quit Quicksilver, the first time I've ever quit it in a while. The next application I want to talk about is a Twitter client called TweetDeck, and I'm sure some of you have heard about this. TweetDeck is my favorite Twitter API because it just keeps everything so organized and so wonderfully beautiful. Now, uh, as you see here, on the in the left column, I've got my all friends tweet. In the middle, I've got replies. And on the right, I've got direct messages. So um, Dylan552 says, hey. And uh, KyleMCC899 says, this one will be in it too. Ha, ha, ha. And he's right. It will, it will be in it. I can also add a search through Twitter search. So say I want to search for... Um, BBQ, which is barbecue. I can search that, and um, I can scroll over, say, and uh, printed some photos with Thomas and Jay, Jay going to barbecue now. So I can see what's going on and who is barbecuing. Really neat uh, API client. Check out the link in the description. The next I want to talk about is Fetch. Fetch is really useful if you have an FTP server uh, for your website. Fetch is this application down here. If I open it up, what it will do is it'll put and grab files onto my FTP server what I want. So instead of having to open up a web-based FTP client, I can use Fetch, which is completely free for Mac OS X. Great. All I have to do is type in my um, FTP, which is ftp.dimcoproductions.com. And ov obviously because of security reasons, I'm not going to type in my username and password. But you can uh, view all the files on your server, upload, download, and it's a really great application. So just quit fetch. The next application I want to talk about is a secure application called I Alert You. I Alert You is an application for free, and I'll I'll just I'll explain to you what it what it uh, what it does. So if I open up I Alert You, as you see up here, it runs in the background. It just runs in my taskbar. There's a little pop-up menu up here. I Alert You par se. I left my computer. I went to Walmart, but my pesky brother came and used my computer. As soon as he touched my computer, moved my computer, did anything on my Mac, my eyesight camera would automatically take a picture of him and send it to my phone, or it, it would send it to my email, but I have email set up on my phone. So then I could immediately find out who was using my Mac, and I could phone him up and say, get the hell off my Mac. It's for paranoid Mac users, I guess, because whoever has a Mac probably most likely loves their Mac. So awesome application, great for security, great for some fun times, great for jokes, um, and I highly recommend you, recommend you download it. Link in the description. The final application I want to talk about today was a tie. They're both um, communication programs. The one is Skype and the other is iChat. I use Skype and iChat almost on a daily, I, I use it on an hourly basis. Skype is a voice over IP program which allows me to talk to anybody without even picking up a phone. These are all my contacts online. I can video chat with them, I can screen share with them, and I can do all sorts of things with them uh, via my eyesight camera and my microphone in my built-in or my built-in microphone on my MacBook Pro. iChat is very similar. If you want to add me on uh, Skype, my Skype name is Luke DeMarco and my iChat uh, name is LukeDeMarco at Mac.com. Now, this is an application uh, for Mac. It's, it's AIM for Mac, and it's, it works seamlessly, and it's a great application. So um, the downloadable version is Skype, of course. So guys, this has been Luke from LukeDemarco.com. I want to give a shout-out to some people who recommended these applications to me. Um, Johnny from JohnnyIsGeek.com. There'll be a link in the description to his top five applications for Mac. So if you want to check out that, you can. So guys, this is Luke from LukeDemarco.com reminding you to rate, comment, 
and subscribe for more video content and more tips on Windows and Mac. We'll see you next time, guys.